Welcome to day three of the 2023 Advent of Code. Let's get straight into it. So for today's problem, we're given a grid that contains a bunch of numbers and a bunch of symbols. We're trying to find the sum of the part numbers and each part number is a number adjacent to a symbol, even diagonally. So for example, this is a part number because it's adjacent to the star. However, this is not a part number because it's not adjacent to any symbols. So for this problem, we'll want to take the input as a grid, which we can do by using open 0.read to grab the entire input and then split across lines. Now, in order to avoid double counting numbers, instead of storing the numbers themselves, we'll store a set containing all of the coordinates of the first digit of the number. This will make a bit more sense once we actually implement it. So for example, we would store 0, 0 for this and 6, 2 for this. So we can use enumerate grid to get the row index and the actual row itself, and likewise enumerate the row. And so now ch is the character we're looking at and r and c are the coordinates. So if the character is a digit or the character is a period, then it isn't a symbol, so we can skip it. We're scanning for the symbols here. Now that we have a symbol, we want to scan the three by three area around it, which we can do by saying for a current row in r minus one, r and r plus one, so the surrounding rows, and for current column in c minus one, c, c plus one, we want to check if this character is a digit. So first of all, if it's out of bounds, so if it's less than zero or greater than or equal to the length of the grid, or the column is out of range, or it just isn't a digit, then we can skip it. Now, if it is a digit, we'll scan to the beginning of the number. So the way we do this is while the current column is still greater than zero, so we're not at the beginning of the row, and the next value to the left is a digit, we can decrease the column by one. And finally, once we've found the first coordinate of the number, we can just add CR CC into our coordinate set. And so now if we print out our coordinate set, we can see that this gives us the coordinates of the first digit of every single one of our part numbers. So now we just need to process that into the actual numbers. So we will say ns equals an empty list. That's just the list of numbers. Now for each row and column in uh, the current, uh, the coordinate set, we will start there and then scan to the right and finally convert that into an integer. So while the uh, column is less than the length of the row and the value is a digit, we will add it to the accumulator string and then increase the column by one to scan to the right. Finally, once we've found all of our digits, we'll just do ns.append into this. And finally, for part one, we want to print out the sum of our numbers. And so that gives us our solution for part one. Now looking at part two, we want to find the sum of the gear ratios instead. A gear is any asterisk symbol that is adjacent to exactly two part numbers, and the gear ratio is the product of those two numbers. So for example, four, six, seven, and three, five are two parts adjacent to a gear. However, this 617 does not count because the gear is not adjacent to exactly two numbers. We actually only need to modify a couple of things here. So we're going to move this set here. We're going to only uh, accept asterisks here. And we're going to indent this here. So before we proceed, uh, first, be careful. The R and C here will cause issues if you leave them as such because it will overwrite the R and C values here. And since this R will only be re-updated every time the outer loop reiterates, this will overwrite C, which will mess with the 
sorry, this will overwrite R, which will overwrite the value for the remainder of the inside loop. So we'll just rename these to um, CR and CC. And by the way, here I'm pressing Control D, which selects a, an identifier. And then when you press Control D again, it just starts selecting all uh, copies of it. It's a very useful feature in VS Code. So what have we done here? We've moved the coordinate set within the iteration. So basically, each time we see a symbol, in this case a gear, we'll keep a unique uh, coordinate set. And so since we want to look for gears that are adjacent to exactly two part numbers, if the length of the coordinate set is not equal to two, then we can just skip it. And now NS will always have exactly two elements at this point. So we can just do NS zero times NS one to get the gear ratio of this particular gear. And finally, we just need to keep track of our total. And finally, we just output it. And so that gives us our answer for part two. There is a different way that you can do this. I just had a discussion with some people on a Discord about uh, which one is easier. Some people, instead of checking for the symbols and then scanning around, they would just scan for the integer. So you start from the top left and you just keep scanning. Once you see a digit, you just keep scanning until you find the whole integer. And then you just look around the perimeter of that. That does mean that you don't have to deal with deduplicating the digits, but as always with advent of code, you should solve it in the way that you find the most intuitive and the fastest for you to solve it with. In this case, for me, I just found it to make more sense to um, check for the symbols and then scan around in a three by three and then trace to the beginning of the digits to find the position of the integer. But let me know your thoughts. In any case, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.